Welcome back. Well, our research team is standing by to give you the list of top 10 stocks for the day. First up, let's go across to Ekta. She's tracking Sipla and Spark this morning. Ekta, good morning. Morning. Well, I'll start with Sipla, the nifty company. It's in focus because it will be acquiring the cosmetics and personal care business of Indian company Ivia Beauty for around 240 crores. Uh, 130 crores will be paid on closing. 110 crores is going to be contingent on achieving certain milestones for the next three years. They have certain uh, uh, brands such as Astaberry, Aikin, Bimasani on a worldwide basis. The acquisition is going to basically help their consumer health business and uh, wellness portfolio. The company says it will complement their skincare segment and build a base in tier 2, tier 6 cities. The turnover of these brands which they've acquired is around 55 crores. Spark is going to be in focus. Remember, it's seen three down sessions and um, they did hold that conference call which was much awaited last evening post markets. They did say that they will look to um, you know, uh, they look at their portfolio to basically prioritize their assets going for forward. They will look at possibly out licensing and partnership opportunities. They are in the process of reinstating the business development activity uh, for the molecule, which did not see the successful end for um, Parkinson's. But they are probably studying it for leukemia, but the size is going to be much lower. As of now, cash balance $20 million. They will not look, be looking at uh, raising equity as of now. The company is going to be looking at their cost structure to reduce costs. I did hear the call. Uh, any near-term triggers, um, unlikely for Spark. They uh, do have their R&D pipeline in focus. But again, one will have to monitor it. So I expect the stock to probably be a little subdued in today's trading session as well. All right. Thanks a lot, Ekta, for that. Well, I'm watching uh, for Indigo. I expect the stock to be in the green today because the market share continues to rise. And remember, it is a market leader. And now overall market share has stopped 60%, 60.5% 60 actually in the month of March. Now, Indigo has gained a bit of market share at the cost of Vistara because as we know, Vistara is facing a lot of troubles now. Uh, so there's a minor increase in market share that Indigo has seen. Um, Vistara, in fact, has seen a dip in the market share on a monthly basis for the first time since November 2023. Um, and it's a pity because it, it was a, you know, a, a, it was a service which was doing extremely well, picking up a lot, etc. But now, of course, it has issues. The Indigo stock has been doing very well too. It's up almost 21% in 2024 so far, sitting almost at record highs. So perhaps more traction over there. In fact, in the month of March, if you look at the overall aviation data, domestic air traffic is up 6% month on month and 4% year on year. Uh, so little bit of a dip we've seen in aviation traffic. But Interglobe Aviation is um, where the cancellation rate has been the lowest amongst all the airlines. So I'm going with green on that stock. Okay, all right. Going with green then on Interglobe Aviation. Uh, the crude price spike is something that could spoil the party, but otherwise data looking good for them. Rima joins us to tell us about LTI Mindtree. Morning, Rima. Hi, good morning. So in an exchange filing late last evening, LTI Mindtree has announced the exit of two senior sales executives. And this adds to the list of senior exits that we've seen in the company over the past 12 to 15 months. So the recent exits are Mr. Pankaj Chug and Gregory Dietrich. But you know, I've compiled a list of the exits that we've seen in the last six months at least, but the list actually extends way back, you know, for almost one, one and a half year. This, uh, you know, the, the recent underperformance in the stock price is partly on account of the revenue weakness and also the senior level exits. So year to date, LTI Mindtree is down 23% underperforming the Nifty IT by nearly 20% in 2024 so far. Back to you. All right, uh, Reema, thanks very much uh, for that. So we'll watch out for these names. Uh, but uh, let's talk about uh, more stocks with news flow. Sonal is standing by with that list. Sonal, morning. Good morning, Prashan. Let me start with the windfall tax revision that has come by. This time around, the government has increased it to 9,600 rupees per ton versus 6,800 rupees per ton. That is on crude oil production. And this is the sixth revision that we are seeing since February and the second one in April itself because of the rise in crude oil prices. Uh, windfall tax on diesel, petrol and ATF remains to be uh, nil. However, this crude oil price or the production tax increase is something which could hurt ONGC and Oil India. Happy Forgings is the other one because it has has received an order from leading global tier one manufacturer of automobile driveline components uh, to the tune of 500 crore rupees and all cargo terminals gave out its update for the month of March where they've seen an increase both on a month on month basis and on a YOI basis in terms of CFS volumes so that stock should see some green. Okay all right thanks a lot for that uh, Sonal. Well let's hop across to Vamakshi she's here to tell us about some more stocks that are in the news. Morning. 
Well, good morning, Nigel. Let me first start off with Geo Financial Services. The company has said that they will be forming a 50-50 JV with BlackRock, and this is for undertaking wealth management and brokerage business in India. So, on the back of this news flow, expect the stock to open higher today. Apart from that, also watch out for transformers and rectifiers. Gujarat Energy Transmission Corp, that is Getco, has withdrawn a stock deal with immediate effect. Now, just to give our viewers a bit of a background, the company had received the stock deal notice from Getco back. In in July, uh, back in July 2023, uh, the uh, company that is Getco had decided to stop dealing with the company for three years. And after uh, this withdrawal that has come from Getco, uh, the company is now eligible to supply for uh, uh, transformers and other products to Getco. And therefore, uh, orders from Getco could come uh, along its way. So therefore, uh, expect the stock to open higher today. All right, Vamakshi, uh, very helpful there. Thanks a lot for joining in. Here's a quick recap of our top stocks, stocks with positive news flows. Sipla, Happy Forgings, All Cargo Terminals, Geo Financial Services, Transformers and Rectifiers and Interglobe Aviation, while stocks with negative news flows, Spark, LTI Mindtree, ONGC and Oil India. Well.